Hello guys and welcome to my new video about the Xiaomi Smart Air Purifier 4. So let's take a look inside the box. So when we open the box. You can find the power cord, instruction manual. And here is the purifier itself. Let's see if I can pull it up like this. There's nothing else in the box. So this is how it looks like. We've got nice display here at the front. Vents really here. Same goes for the side. And at the back, another button, laser particle sensor, and here we have the field side inside. Very important thing before first start, you need to open it just by pulling it here and unwrap the field side from the plastic bag. Very important. You need to just pull it out and unwrap it. And this is how the field cell looks like. So when you are changing filter, you need to just put it inside with the hole on the top and just push it there and that's it. Put the cover back. That's it. Now when you turn it on, you will see the screen. As I showed you earlier, the button at the back for the brightness of the screen. This is the maximum. Second sets up and the third one is off. Now when we take a closer look, what we can see on this OLED screen is these three numbers are PM2.5 value. Now here you can see the temperature. We've got humidity. Here we can see negativity yon indicator, which is primarily turned on. Here is the Wi-Fi status. And the last one is the mode. And this green line, now green line, is the air quality indicator and actually it will display different colors according to the PM2.5 value. It's green for 1 to 20 micrograms per cubic meter, yellow for 21 to 35, orange for 35 to 55, and it will be red when the PM2.5 is over 55 micrograms per cubic meter. Then we have on off button here and here is the button that will change the mode. So it has six different modes. You can see the mode icon here as I mentioned earlier. Now it's at the low mode. So you can also hear the noise when I'll be changing the mode. So now we are at the low. This is medium. High. favorite one automatic and the sleep and this one is really really very quiet the automatic one is probably the best one because it uh, continuously scan the air quality and the cleaning is obviously change according to the values from the sensor so the air should be always clean and with that comes the noise level now I'll just quickly tell you some of the specifications effective coverage area is 28 to 48 square meters 
noise is under 64 decibels so that's the maximum value there is 99.97% filtration of 0.3 micrometers particles we've got obvious dust and pollen filtration negative air ionization it's also effective against H1N1 virus in the air that's interesting and it's able to purify 20 square meter room in approximately 10 minutes and also it has certification from TUV Rhineland Allergy Care which means that allergen filtration is guaranteed and as it uses activated carbon filter that means it can absorb also odors or cooking fumes stuff like that so perfect and also it has support for voice controls with Alexa and OK Google another thing when you go to the night mode it will be really very quiet but also the display will lower its brightness the rated power is 30 watts but network standby power consumption is just under 2 watts and very interesting thing it supports wireless connectivity with Wi-Fi BGN now if you'd like to turn the Wi-Fi off you need to hold press and hold the mode change button and the brightness button at the back at the same time for 7 seconds there you go, you just turn the Wi-Fi off or now do the same if you want to turn the Wi-Fi on and most important thing it's smart air purifier so when you connect it to the Wi-Fi you can actually control it with mobile application now you can download the application by scanning the QR code from the manual or you can just go to the Google Play or App Store and download it the app looks like that it's called show my home now if you'd like to add your purifier into mobile phone application just click on the plus sign add the device and it will scan it or find it straight away or the other way click on the plus and scan the QR code from the manual and that will tell you something like the connecting profile first time or when it can be connected just press and hold the buttons for several seconds and the device will reset now it's very easy to connect it just click on the device in the app it will show you the Wi-Fi and connect it to the same Wi-Fi that your phone is connected and after that you will see how it is connecting to the device you can set up the room stuff like that let's create the new room, living room ok, next you can add the name and actually that's it And now you can see many informations combined indoor air quality, temperature, humidities here, the PM 2.5. You can turn it off from here, change the modes. You can turn on or off, negative, yon. Here you can see the remaining filter and how many days remaining. Don't be surprised when you see 80% remaining here. It doesn't mean the filter came with a shorter lifetime or something like that. Uh, actually, after I unpacked and I did the first couple of videos, I started using the device so I can actually see if it's really good, if I can recommend it and after few weeks I just 
decided to continue. So at this very moment, I'm at the 82% of filter. So I want to be sure that what I'll be telling about it, how I feel, or how I think it works. So I want to be sure that everything I'll tell you about the device are from my real experience with it and all my opinions are honest. So I did the reset and I've carried the, with the video now. So another thing, you can set up the schedule here. I can actually set it from once every day or custom. And you can set the date and you can set the time or if you go to the custom you can also choose particular dates for example and the same so you cannot actually set the date only the time or day in a week and you can also Use the automation and create smart scenes. So that's the main screen. Now here, when you press the three dots, you can also change the screen brightness. You can send the child lock. It will lock the buttons up here on the screen. You can turn on or off notification sounds and here you have some settings and here you can do device services you can also share device automation as seen before you can do the firmware update from here also as you can see i can also do it now we got some help and feedback here so basic faqs you got some security settings, passwords. You can add it to the home screen also. And you can actually choose if you can see it on the My Home Show My Home homepage. And you can also delete the device. Now, as you can see, the My Home, it's always here so if you have more devices they will be shown here next to it so you can actually see the pm 2.5 numbers humidity temperature air quality you can turn it on or off really quickly from the main screen so if you have more xiaomi devices it's really perfect to like control them with one app and um, I like how the Xiaomi can group everything onto the main screen with basic information shown here so that's perfect so that's it about this smart air purifier my real and honest opinions about it after using it for some time first of all you can really feel that air is much cleaner so I can say that uh, since this purifier is here the dust on the surfaces is limited so much to the to the minimum compared to before so it means it really really like clean that air any odors are eliminated within within a couple of minutes as soon when something like happened around when we were like dusting around the numbers of PM 2.5 went up. I have set it on the automatic so I could hear like it recognized the lower air quality it started working and cleaning the air straight away immediately. It took like some dozens of minutes until the air in the whole room was clean again. Then it went to the quiet mode. So it's always scanning perfectly, especially when it's on a quiet mode. It's so, so quiet. You literally cannot hear it from, let's say, one meter or a couple of feet away. 
I just cannot hear it, but on the other side, it can be really noisy when it's on the maximum power. I also like that display, that screen, it's, it looks nice somehow. It's so uh, simple, but looks nice. I like that it shows the temperature and the air humidity. That's also perfect. And control it through the app is amazing. And also, as you look at the design, it it's really nice also like and a simple so it can really stand in your living room somewhere like that it won't disturb you so in a short way the main point of this device is to clean the air and it does its job really perfectly especially if you take into consideration its size it's small but works perfectly so i'm absolutely happy with that so that's it about this xiaomi smart air purifier i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please hit the subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time